Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name of course is Safely and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Call of Duty, rumored to be Modern Warfare 3. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Safely, didn't Modern Warfare 3 come out in 2011? Why yes, random internet person, it did. But Call of Duty recently has a thing for nostalgia baiting, and I'm pretty sure they're going to continue doing it, considering how much money it yields them with each release. Like, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but so many people purchased Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2022 purely because they thought it was going to be a remake paying homage to the old games, and were served a hot plate of disappointment. You'd think that if they want to nostalgia bait so hard, they would just release the multiplayer portion of Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, which has literally been leaked to be made and completed, but they just refuse to release it. It's almost like Activision is just allergic to making decisions that would benefit both them and their player base. I get to be noob tubed with one man army, you get my precious dollar bills, it should be that simple, yet they refuse to make it happen. Now we have talks of Modern Warfare 3 being released in November, yet we don't even have a trailer to see what it looks like. The rumors circulating on Twitter are that it's being called the most advanced Call of Duty yet, and I don't know how to feel about that. Call of Duty was never a fun game because of how advanced it was, it was a fun game because of its simplistic arcade-like feel. It's when they decided to step away from that feel and what gave them their identity that everything started to fall apart. I could go on all day about Call of Duty and its identity crisis, but that's for another video. I've also seen another piece of information on Twitter that notes a reliable leaker in the space tweeted out, quote, MW3 with a puking emoji. When asked whether or not the game was closer in style to Modern Warfare 2019 or Modern Warfare 2022, he replied, Modern Warfare 2 2.0. Now, I believe you should always take leaks with a grain of salt. Things are always subject to potentially change, and stuff that gets pushed through the grapevine, even if it gets some traction, doesn't always hold true. However, if this game is really Modern Warfare 2 2.0, then we're in for an absolutely wild ride in the worst of ways. I'd like to say that Activision would do anything but double down on everything people hate when it comes to Modern Warfare 2022, but at the end of the day, it seems the only thing driving them is sales, and although their numbers for the current installment of Call of Duty are dropping when it comes to the player base, the amount of money that the game made just can't be ignored. I mean, the game sold 1.85 billion in the first quarter alone, passing the billion dollar mark in 10 days. Now, take into consideration, that was only 10 days into the game's release. Think of how many bundles have been released since then, as well as how many of those who have been playing Warzone 2.0 may have put into the bundles for their vehicle skins, operator skins, and executions. I don't even want to figure out that number they're currently sitting at because I know that's only going to make me more angry than I already am with the state of the game. At the end of the day, the only true concrete information we have that is 100% confirmed is the release date as well as the company in charge of development being Sledgehammer. Beyond that, everything is still up in the air. I'd like to say I have hope for Sledgehammer considering in the past they've been known for actually listening to community input. Sometimes it takes them a while to actually make the requested changes, but usually they get around to it. I'll be the first person to say that Vanguard is far from a great game. But but looking back, they took much more input from the community, and the game as a whole has aged to, in my opinion, be a better game than Modern Warfare 2022. I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me there, but at the end of the day, there are many redeeming factors Vanguard has that Modern Warfare 2022 just doesn't have. Whether it be the ability to have a working radar, relatively decent maps, or a good perk system, it hits the nails on the head where Modern Warfare 2022 couldn't even hold the hammer. So, with the information that we have so far, which of course isn't a a whole lot, what does the future of Call of Duty look like down the road? Well, it depends on how true the leaks really are and exactly what direction Sledgehammer ultimately decides to go in. If they take the same route they've done with their previous games and actually listen to community feedback and implement the changes that everybody wants, I think that we can have a potentially good year. Now, if the rumor of the game just being Modern Warfare 2022 2.0 is true and they give us the same treatment as we've received this year, I think that we're going to see a lot of people step away from the franchise entirely. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Call of Duty will ever truly die. I'm sure as long as they continue to nostalgia bait and every now and again make some smart moves with Warzone, they'll continue to stay afloat and cash will continue to flow in. However, from the aspect of regular multiplayer, I think they're going to continue to see their player count decline, and eventually the game will end up in the same shoes as Halo or Gears of War, and Warzone will more than likely end up being the only significantly populated portion of the game. It's crazy to think Activision has the solution in the palm of their hands. It's no surprise that their game with the most active player base is Call of Duty Mobile, a game where where all of the best maps and best guns are put into one and updated on a consistent basis, and the best part about that, it's literally 
free to play. Can you imagine the potential payday they would have and the amount of players that would return to the game if something of that caliber was created for current consoles and PC? The fans of the franchise would be foaming at the mouth for something like that. You would think it would be an easy no-brainer for them to conjure that up and serve it to us on a silver platter, but they continue to make questionable decision after questionable decision. At the end of the day, with what we know about the next installment in the franchise so far, it's hard to form any sort of concrete prediction on how things are going to pan out. A singular leaker's opinion isn't super solid ground to stand on after all, and you know, once we are fortunate enough to see a trailer along with some gameplay, that's when the real fun begins. The best thing we can do right now is keep a glass half full mindset and hope for the best. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.